Alors, 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 allez, allez, allez. So finally, I'm back with one more session. How are you all? Good evening, good evening. Thanks for all your love and support that we are having these sessions. Else they would have been over by now because you know exam is just near and people are thinking what the need of doing these chanting sessions is just uh, you know maybe wasting our time. But you people are giving this you know hope you know they are useful. That's why I am. doing it i had my class in the morning so there are other batches other classes also new session so i finished that session and i came for your session night again i have a flight so i'll be going so it's very hectic but point is you people are the strongest support system we can have good evening good evening so today we'll be doing patho and pharma okay mainly patho i'll finish uh, and uh, i'll give you the guidelines what we'll do good evening uh, good afternoon okay So Richa is here. Kavya, Shrikant, Kartik, Arun, Maihar, Sagar, Sachi, the new classic healing hands. क्या बात है? Nimisha, Malhar, <coughs> okay, Mahima, okay. See, Optha I have covered already. If you remember, okay. And uh, I will take Optha in the end. Yeah, I will take Optha in that. So I'll give you my plan. You tell me what is the suitability. so optha i could have taken now but problem is lots of people are still not there so they will miss so what i'll do is optha i will take it as a end when i do a summary so in the summary i will do the ophthalmology so we'll do as end so i think on 28 feb and 1st march we'll have the last session so they will be our last two days so i'll take longer session like 4 to 5 hours and we'll cover medicine and uh, biochemistry biochem ठीक है एंड अदर्स ऑन डिमांड वट एवर यू पीपल से विल टेक लेट से यू से ई एन टी सो विल डू ई एन टी सो ऑन डिमांड एंड दैट डे विल टेक थर्टी मिनट्स फॉर ऑप्था ऑल्सो सो डोंट वरी विल फिनिश एवरीथिंग दैट इज अवर प्लान इज सो डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट एनीथिंग की वट विल बी डन नॉट डन वाई डन हाउ डन सो यू जस्ट कीप कमिंग एंड आई विल कीप टेकिंग सेशन एंड वी विल रैप इट अप ओके So today we'll do yes pharma and the patho. So that is very very important. So I'll do patho first, then we'll do pharma because patho will take I think one hour, one hour. Then remaining time I'll do the pharma. Okay, and don't worry, pharma will be covered uh, in details. Okay, so that is the case. Okay, so PDF I've already uploaded in the group. The files is there, and uh, whatever I teach, you can watch it at double speed, and it will just help you feel that you are able to understand medicine. I said na twenty eighth Feb. 28th Feb and 1st March will be medicine. Okay, tomorrow again Ashwini sir is taking a session, so I don't have any slot empty. So 9 p.m. Ashwini sir will take tomorrow histology. So do histology by Ashwini sir. So I will not take tomorrow because sir is having a session. Okay, so I will be taking two days, 28 and this 6 to 10 p.m. both the days. Do join me for 6 to 10 p.m. I will cover everything that is required. Okay, just two days, six ten, six ten. Done now? Yeah, yeah. I will do all the inheritance, etc. So today we'll do patho. Okay, not systemic patho because systemic patho I'll cover in medicine. So don't ask me, sir. Systemic patho, when will you cover? Systemic path I will cover in our which subject? So path in medicine. So today I'll do general patho. Okay, and we'll do all the you know important thing in that. Then we'll start with the. Pharma. Okay, thank you for the people who are watching me live. Okay, or so I'll do a rapid uh, revision. Okay, clear? Like I will do a chanting, but by showing you important things. Okay, because or so already have taken place. Let's start because we don't have time, so I'll be starting the session without any delay whatsoever. Should I start? Okay. So I'll start. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. Okay. so let's start and uh, we'll do 
so we are starting the general path rapid revision from the pdf i am having and then rapidly we'll wrap it up okay so let's start and again yes let's start so thank you for joining me all these days it's one of the you know best things to happen otherwise i would have been just given up okay so chanting is starting pathology remember cell is in a homeostasis which i discussed already in physio normal size shape function so whenever there's a stress or any stressful stimuli like infection fever or breakup or exam like 5th march so what happens they all create cell to undergo adaptation adaptation if it's successful it's fine otherwise cell can go in a injury which could be reversible or irreversible irreversible can cause death which can be apoptosis or necrosis in this case okay so that is the concept okay don't worry medicine will cover okay i'm there akhil don't worry okay so you just watch the session with me and you will cover everything that is my promise okay so only thing i can request is keep watching me and we will cover almost every important thing that's required and we will get at least 100 questions from these sessions okay that's my promise okay now there are two kind of adaptation either hypertrophy trophy means increase size but not the number plasia is increase number multiply kaise yaad karenge plasia ply ply multiply plasia okay so that's why first hypertrophy can be physiological or pathological we know disease is pathological like hypertension aortic stenosis it causes the left ventricular hypertrophy and also in hocm also in hocm whereas physiological is exercise or heart shows physiological hypertrophy in athletes okay so it is athlete uterus in pregnancy breast in puberty pregnancy lactation okay fine now comes the question of hyperplasia it's matter uh, this risk is there because there is increased number so the stem cell are going to create new copy it could be physiological like uterus in pregnancy show both uh, hypertrophy also and hyper Place the same is breast, okay, bone marrow, <coughs> endometrium, they all are example of hyperplasia in this case, okay, and pathological is other BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia or benign <coughs> hyperplasia of prostate, here the patient have what, you know, this is susu falling on the leg, see students are so enterprising, they even made a diagram, ki patient has complained, ki dhar ni ban rhi. urine is not having the pressure, so urine can fall down on the feet of the patient and that is the problem. So, drug is obviously finasteride, which is 5-alpha inhibitor or tamsulosin. We don't use, uh, <coughs> see, if hypertension is there, prazosin. So, I'll just write, if BPH with hypertension, then drug of choice will be prazosin. Prazosin. If no hypertension, then we'll go for tamsulosin, okay? Or if they ask decrease the size, this is decrease the size. So, decrease size, finasteride. Uh, increase the urine flow it is tamsulosin and if there is hypertension with this uh, bph then we'll go for our prazosin very important topic now <coughs> matlabi remember matlabi means selfish people so selfish people they change they modify okay so that's why change in the type of the cell epithelium or the uh, you know tissue is called as metaplasia there are two types epithelial metaplasia or connective Connected tissue means muscle, cartilage, bone, they are exchanged with each other. So that's for example, muscle become bone. Bone is a connective tissue. Muscle is obviously connected, uh, muscular tissue. So if muscle become a connective tissue bone, it is called as myositis ossificans. Okay. And this is stem cell programming involved. So what is involved in metaplasia? Stem cell programming, MCQ. So stem cell reprogramming or programming is involved. This was the exam question. Okay. Then there are two types, squamous or columnar. Remember, squamous pneumonic is sa, sa, sa. What is squamous? Sa, sa, sa. See, decrease size, the answer is not tamsulosin. Answer is finasteride, okay? Increase urine flow is basically your tamsulosin or prazosin. If hypertension, go with prazosin. If only you want to improve the urine flow, we go with, yes, tamsulosin, okay? Done? Now, sa, sa, sa. So what is sa, sa, sa? Squamous smoking and stone they all cause squamous hyper uh, this metaplasia and can cause our yes it can cause our squamous cell carcinoma also okay then abc is mnemonic for columnar here acid from the stomach in the gird causes barrett esophagus which is the columnar metaplasia also called as yes it is called as intestinal metaplasia and has a risk of causing adenocarcinoma so that's why we will do yes the endoscopy if H. pylori infection, we have to give triple regimen there, okay? Now, remember, oral cavity, skin, esophagus, anal cavity, they all have squamous metaplasia. That's why person eating chili, mirchi, 
कैन फील बर्निंग इन ओरल कैविटी स्किन इसोफेगस और इवन एनल कनाल सो दैट्स वाई यू ईट स्पाइसी फूड इन द नाइट नेक्स्ट डे यू फील द बर्निंग सो दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ एनल कनाल हैज द सेम एपिथीलियम एज माउथ रेस्ट ऑफ द जी आई टी दैट इज इन द स्टमक एंड द इंटेस्टाइन इज कॉलमनर हॉल मार्क इज गॉबलेट सेल सो वट इज द सेल विच इज द हॉल मार्क ऑफ अवर वट इज इंटेस्टाइन इट इज our goblet cell so that's why it make mucus which is protective in nature so if there is increased goblet cell it is yes uh, mucosal hyperplasia and if you see goblet cell in the esophagus it is barrett's esophagus okay so that is what we know so there is a red velvety mucosa on endoscopy now atrophy is decrease size decrease number so when both decrease it is atrophy most common cause of the atrophy okay is what it will be yes old age so old age is causing atrophy now most common cause of cell injury is our hypoxia and most common type of hypoxia is ischemic वैसे it's hypoxic hypoxia but in this case we'll go with ischemic that's why we need to do abc airway breathing circulation to maintain the oxygen level otherwise the person will enter what yes he will enter what disease and maybe it can cause death also now in cell injury obviously cell will not get oxygen so that's why it will cause less atp and less atp is formed by mitochondria that's why first organelle affected is mitochondria so what is the first organelle mitochondria is the first organelle affected now comes the question what is the result of less atp the sodium potassium pump cannot work it is a nokia pump if it cannot work which pump nokia pump sodium will not go out potassium will not come so it pump three sodium out and two potassium using atp so now sodium accumulate and remember as sodium accumulate it will pull water by osmosis and we all know what water can do water causes the swelling of the cell and that's why it causes cellular swelling hydropic change or also called as what it is called as the yes our what uh, cloudy swelling so also called as cloudy swelling cloudy so are you clear so cloudy swell now next is what the finding we see loss of microvilli blabbing and blunting of the cell margins or the corner that is called as your yes uh, hydropic chain now if you give energy on time what happens the cell will reverse back that's why it is called as reversible why if you give oxygen atp golden hour resuscitation or thrombolysis what happens yes the blood flow will start oxygen will come so atp will come and now the cell will restart the pump so swelling will reverse so that's why it's called as what reversible injury okay now other changes are obviously without energy proteins cannot be formed so protein synthesis stop ribosome detach and mitochondria show amorphous density amorphous means they don't have any fixed shape amorphous means irregular shape so what are the two type it could be small or large if it is small it's a reversible if large it is irreversible that is seen in irreversible injury so remember small is reversible large is irreversible okay so as i told you if you start the resuscitation on time what happens the patient will get the oxygen cell will have the pump working and pump will throw and that is called as reversible so what is the main thing between reversible and irreversible time is the criteria between reversible and irreversible injury now golden hour is that is why important because if you give the cells will not die and the organs will be safe that's why tried i discuss in surgery also red means it need urgent attention green is you are the patient ki it can be discharged go back yellow means wait and then treat black is already dead it's moribund okay so moribund or moribund state okay now comes a question if delay occur excessive sodium come this sodium start exchanging with which ion with the calcium and as calcium come calcium will activate various mechanism enzyme like phospholipase so what trigger phospholipase it is the calcium so remember sodium is the ion for reversible injury which cause swelling but calcium is the ion for irreversible why it activate the lactic enzyme like phospholipase it break the phospholipid endonucleus break the nucleus also release lactic enzyme from lysosome which destroy the cell from inside so once the membrane is destroyed it is a cell if its membrane is destroyed obviously there is no cell left no icf ecf cell is completely destroyed so that is why once we have what once we have what once we have the what calcium the cell will be so much destroyed it cannot revert back that's what's called as irreversible cell this so summary sodium potassium pump are involved in reversible injury calcium is involved that is why in irreversible you know injury or death we have calcium so that's why two kind of calcification dystrophic and metastatic calcification yeah pdf is already we have uploaded in the folder 
okay i'll just show you if you want to see so there's a folder the link i have given to each and everyone if you people know i have given so i'll just show you that drive link so this is my drive link okay and in this chanting drive I have all these pdfs are there okay so i request you people to <coughs> open the link the link i have already shared everywhere whatsapp uh, telegram <coughs> even sms so they all chanting see surgery derma all chantings are there okay more i will upload medicines are there and a cg are there fmt there pharma there path there which i'm using right now so please use this pdf and this okay yeah kabhi right so that's why calcium is a marker for irreversible injury and that is cell death so that's why high calcium is indicating death so that's why in cancer cell also or any place where you calcium indicate mainly death of the tissue okay now what are the changes in reversible first change like in reversible who was the earliest microscopic change so earliest microscopic change in reversible was cell swelling so that was the earliest so it is the earliest microscopic so it's the earliest write the word microscopic microscopic change earliest microscopic so what is the earliest microscopic it is this one okay fine yes concept is important okay information you can remember now second once you kill the nucleus the cell cannot be recovered why nucleus is like the information for making new copy so that's why findings are chromatin condensation that is called as pycnosis or pycnosis pinosis so pycnosis why i'm saying pycnosis remember not so this condensation means knotting then there is what there is chromosome getting fragmented that is karyaxis and breakdown is karyolysis so these are the three main changes which are seen in irreversible injury so now remember there are two kind of cell death one is suicide that is killing apne aap ko apne aap means self so killing self there is apoptosis murder is necrosis so that's why first it is someone else killing so factor is not intrinsic but extrinsic factors mostly mostly they are because of injury infection and they are pathological whereas apoptosis is mostly it can be physiological but can be pathological but necrosis is almost always pathological okay and apoptosis can involve single cell suicide single person can do murder mostly it's more than one why like you murder someone then you murder the witness you know indian movies like you cannot take the witness to the court without you know uh, attack on them remember so sabse mushkil kaam kya hai witness reaching the court for giving the yes their uh, you know what do you say uh, their version okay so testimonial or whatever so that's why that is the case okay now remember for suicide person will make a program is hindi it make person make a program i will commit suicide on this date okay after 5th march sorry uh, you understood okay so after not 5th march it just giving example okay second question obviously if there is a uh, suicide police is not that involved why sale mar gaya kya kare hum aake jao so police is not but in case of what a murder police will come so that's why police is wbc inflammation occurs whereas if you are committing suicide you close the door so close the door and suicide so that is why membrane is intact so summary close the door whereas in case of murder the murderers come and break the door so remember murderer break the door so mnemonic is membrane is damaged okay so membrane is damaged then if you are suiciding you are depressed so person who suicide is depressed so a depressed person sink in body size they don't eat and they are like this okay whereas कोई ज्यादा ज्यादा चौड़ा हो रहा है तो है ज्यादा बड़ा बन रहा है अभी मर्डर सो वाई पीपल मर्डर यू बिकॉज यू आर इंक्रीजिंग इन साइज सो मर्डर मोस्ट कॉमन इज बिकॉज ऑफ जेलसी सो इंक्रीज साइज सो दैट्स वाई स्वेलिंग द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन और द एंजाइम कैश पेज सो कैश पेजेस आर द केस वी आर एज लाइटिक अदर एंजाइम्स आई इन्वॉल्व यूर ओके नाउ रिमेंबर टू कमिट सुसाइड वट पर्सन विल डू पर्सन विल नीड आर लेडर टू डू हैंगिंग सो रिमेंबर निमोनिका मेड वॉज हैंगिंग सो मोस्ट कॉमन सुसाइड इज हैंगिंग and to hang you need a ladder so that's why step ladder pattern is seen in suicide so remember step ladder pattern is the case okay fine so please give me if someone can help shubham they can help otherwise shubham bhai please message me 9899 i will forward you the link of pdf many a time i try to send here and there but i don't know why it got displaced so remember that is the case see i taught this and this is the step ladder see how clear i am looking okay okay so it is my very old photo covid time when i took this so this is the step ladder we can see step by step so basically fragmentation of the yes nucleus which create this bands so these are bands bp base pair okay so can you see this so this is your what condition this is your step ladder pattern step ladder pattern 
where as where as see someone was watching putting the device on their matrix see how dedicated person they are and in case of this we see smear smear pattern is when you see all you know uh, what do you say not clear cut bands but it just what homogeneous spread of the yes color now types of necrosis coagulative remember coagulative is basically in solid organs it is because of ischemia so example am i infarction so infarction infarct will always be coagulative and there's a tombstone necrosis where ghost cell outline is seen so that is called as a ghost cell or tombstone then liquefactive remember liquefactive liquefactive so where do you see liquefactive so liquefactive is seen basically in the brain because of enzyme and infections so remember and infection make the fluid which is called as pus so pus in the abscess is basically what a liquefactive necrosis fat obviously is seen in the fat rich can you see this chalky white deposits so this is your fat necrosis which can be seen in the yes omentum hips or uh, breast or the pancreas so they occur in and there is what calcification soap formation saponification what is the enzyme enzyme is lassithinase lassithinase enzyme so which is the enzyme involved in this process answers lassithinase is the enzyme yes very good now kgs remember tv so you are eating a cheese popcorn while yes cheese popcorn while watching tv so remember mnemonic KZS necrosis is basically cheesy necrotic material seen in TB also histoplasmosis and what yes also seen in what uh, histoplasmosis uh, TB okay that is seen okay now comes the question fibrinoid it is basically collagen deposit so that's why if you see collagen that is in basically fibrinoid like rheumatic heart disease which show ascoff granuloma which is a type of what fibrinoid necrosis so it is seen in yes pan sle malignant hypertension rheumatic uh, fever all show our fibrinoid gangrene is because of blockage of the flow it could be dry or wet dry is basically coagulative where blood is not coming so that's why there is what there is yes ischemic changes wet is basically infection which bring liquefactive example diabetic foot is an example of what wet gangrene and dry is peripheral artery disease like this is gangrene can you see so this is dry gangrene here you can see necrosis and then this black indicate lack of blood supply whereas this is diabetic foot which is our liquefactive or you can say wet gangrene again you can see me okay taking the class so this is our diabetic foot and here did the debridement and dressing so that's why you can see red color granulation tissue which indicate healing taking place okay fine now gas gangrene is caused by clostridium welchi also can be caused by clostridium perfringens okay and there is crepitation there is bubbling sound so that is the main so bubbles are there you can see very large fluid filled bullas are there so that is seen in the case of what gas gangrene this is gas gangrene so let's revise once again what are the types of gang uh, necrosis first necrosis is having inflammation cell size will increase membrane is damaged mostly caused by external factor inflammation is present and smear pattern which pattern smear pattern is present in this case okay second question about the necrosis there are six main type one is solid organ cognitive if brain and uh, infection liquefactive then fibrinoid is seen here it's seen in uh, vasculitis or vessels okay which are involved collagen deposits are there then there is fat in the fat rich organs then there is uh, which one yes there is uh, kgs in tb laptose uh, this histoplasmosis that is showing the kgs necrosis and then there is also gangrene in gangrene it could be dry or wet dry is coagulative and wet is liquefactive infection is there okay gas gangrene is clostridium welchi can be perfringens also now upper toss remember it could be intrinsic or extrinsic how to remember c c c is when person is having lots of confusion and yes life it is cytochrome so remember c c is intrinsic where as extrinsic is when someone trap you fasadia fast fast so fast ligand so what are the main thing here fast ligand is responsible for the extrinsic and also cd95 remember the cd used to get stuck in the cd player so remember cd95 so you are watching a cd cd95 and your cd gets stuck so remember extrinsic so cd gets stuck in your player so remember the mnemonic cd gets stuck cd gets stuck now remember if it is intrinsic intrinsic in in intrinsic is na in in so intrinsic is na in 
extrinsic is 8. So, very easy. Cash space 8 is for extrinsic. Now, in is for intrinsic. So, in and in. In and in. Are you clear now? And lastly, 10 is the also there. So, 9 and 10 is intrinsic. 8 and 10 is the extrinsic. Okay. Executional cash space are the 3 and 6. They trigger endonuclease which cause the death. So, what is causing the death? It is 3 and 6. Okay. Now, genes and the regulation. So, remember, anti apoptosis they give the life. L. So, L1 give the life and prevent the death. So, what prevent the death? It is L1. So, BCMC. Remember, BCL and MCL. BCMC. And remember, BCL could be 1, 2 or 6. But MC is only 1. So, remember, there is M. Like, you can take M is for like mother. Mother is 1. Brother can be multiple. So, remember, mother is 1. So, MC is 1. BC is 1, 2, 6. And some are extra large BC. So, extra large BCL. Extra large BCL is the case. So, are you clear now? So, extra large BCL. Now, I made a mnemonic for sensor. It is, you know, Bimal, Bimal, Bimla, BD, okay, BD. They are PTT and that is not a good thing, bad. So, Bim, Bid, Bad, Puma, Nox. So, I made a mnemonic, Bimal, you know, Bimal, Pan, Masala. So, those who know Bimal is Bolo, Jabha, Kesri. Okay, so I'll just show you Bimal. So, you all know Bimal, Pan, Masala. So, Bolo, Jabha, Kesri. So, that's why this is the ad that you have with this Vimal. So, Vimal, this is Jabha Kesri. Can you see? So, that is why it caused the, yes. So, Vimal, Vimal era. Bolo Jabha Kesri. So, I'll make a mnemonic. Okay, let's see the mnemonic. So, mnemonic is, there is Vimal and also BD. BD, they both are bad combination, bad. And, yes, what is saying? The Papa Mama, Puma, Papa or Ma, Pa or Ma. Pa or ma and they sense. Pa ma sense and they say bad. So, what is the mnemonic? Oh, bad, sorry. And they say no, no, no. Never do it. Noxa. So, bim, bid, bad, noxa, puma. So, bim, bid, bad, puma. So, what is bim? Bim is bimal. Bimal, pan, masala. Bimal. Bid is bid and bad. So, bim, bid, bad, puma, noxa. Bim, bid, bad, puma, noxa. Bim, bid, bad, puma, noxa. So, what are they? Bim, bid, bad and puma and nox they are apoptosis sensors they check our apoptosis and they inform ki it is yes going or not going okay so they are the apoptosis sensor and finally we have the pro apoptotic pro apoptotic kill the case so what are the next pro apoptotic so what the next is pro apoptotic are you clear so they are pro apoptotic okay so what they are remember if someone is doing bakwas smack them so bakwas smack smack is hit them so bakwas bak bas smack them bak bas smack are you clear so bak bas smack bak bas smack is it clear now so these are your yes a pro apoptotic okay so let's come back to the topic so this is bolo jaba kesari mnemonic is done so let's summarize so what are the sensor bim bid bad puma noxa which are pro apoptotic buck bar smack buck bar smack now other types of uh, apoptosis pyroptosis is in infection she gala someone make a mnemonic dekho. she gala has i n l l so caspase 1 and 11 so she gala infection which has flagella that's very important it causes an interleukin is one for fever so very very important so pyroptosis is interleukin 1 and tgf alpha they cause fever, TGF alpha. They are for fever. So, what cause of fever? TGF1 and inter, sorry, interleukin 1 and TGF alpha and caspase 1 and 11 cause pyroptosis. Necroptosis start as external apoptosis that is triggered by what? Yes, fast ligand and CD95. But it converts to necrosis and it is now a caspase independent cell death. So, that's why if caspase are not involved, that is called as necroptosis. Are you clear? So, it involves what? Fast and CD95, but doesn't use the caspase. It is called as necroptosis. Are you clear now? Yes. So, jo bakwas kare usko maro. Yes, Richa, you are right. Pro is bakwas smack them. Now, come feroptosis. So, feroptosis is basically excessive iron is triggering apoptosis. That is called as feroptosis. So, the hint is excessive iron is the case. Now, how do you do diagnosis of apoptosis? It is basically level of cytochrome C. Cytochrome C is for which? It is for intrinsic apoptosis. Okay. Caspase level we can check. Then annexin 5. Step ladder pattern in the agrose gel 
इलेक्ट्रोफोरसिस एग्रोस जेल इलेक्ट्रोफोरसिस सो डिस्कस द मार्कर ऑब्वियसली इट इज एन एक्शन वी डिस्कस दिस सो आई नॉट डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन या दिस ऑल वी डिस्कस नाउ फ्री रेडिकल्स एंड इन्फ्लामेशन एंड ऑल दिस थिंग सो नॉट पिगमेंट्स सो एंडोजिनस इज प्रोड्यूस बाय द बॉडी एक्सो इज मेनली कार्बन कार्बन डिपोजिट वट इन द लंग्स बाय द मैक्रोफेजिस एंड दे गिव ग्रे बैक ब्लैक कलर ओके इन स्मोकर्स एंड डेली डेली पीपल डेली पीपल आर लाइक टेन सिगरेट्स पर डे सो डेली पीपल ओके या नाउ एक्सोजिनस इज लाइपोफ्यूशन ओके सॉरी इज द एक्सोजिनस ओके नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग द यस एंडोजिनस वन इज बाय मिस्टेक रिटर्न दिस so exo is done so please remove this see i tell you now there would be mistake in this pdf but you know i try to correct as much as possible but if still some error persist don't feel bad it is part and parcel now we are discussing endogenous pigments so in endogenous what do we have so we have first is our which pigment first we have is our lipofuscin this is the wear and tear pigment wear and tear pigment okay and it accumulate with age indicating the aging it is also called as the brown atrophy of heart you can see this golden brownish color around the nucleus this is lipofuscin so it is around the nucleus called as a lipofuscin okay chal so let's move now what is the pigment we use to stain it we use our yes long zn stain zeal nielsen stain which is for tv leprosy that is acid fast so it is for acid fast so for acid fast what is the stain we use zeal nielsen stain now melanin is deposited in melanoma or moles okay so the mal is black color okay so what is the stain mason fontana stain mason fontana stain is this case okay fine yeah we will take biochemistry also and medicine so we are mainly left with major systems pharma path will do then biochemistry medicine okay and uh, also will do uh, optha Uh, or done already okay ent will do okay fine so i'm trying my level best to cover as many as possible okay those who are coming attending and maybe watching later thanks to all if you get a rank it will be proof ki these are sessions are very effective otherwise to you know so after injury there is a brownish black color that is of bruise and that is because of your hemosiderin okay so hemosiderin give the bruise color now what are the color for that it is prussian blue or pearl Remember, pearl and Prussian pearl, 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 pearl are both for your hemosiderin and iron. Okay. Now I told you calcification is deposition of calcium. It is of two type. What the two type? If dead, dystrophic. So dead tissue show dystrophic, and more calcium is metastatic. What the concept here? Serum calcium increase. So high calcium cause metastatic, and if there is normal calcium, still there is calcification. That is called as dystrophic. So remember, dys means dead. as dystrophic is not death but still remember dystrophic calcification is seen in dead tissue or damaged tissue okay so dead or damaged in the case example atherosclerosis rheumatic heart disease papillary cancer what do they all do so they all are causing which all changes so these ones are responsible for causing what changes yes dystrophic calcification which can be seen or we will be having so i hope is clear now so these are important okay now comes the question there is a very famous samoma bodies it's not pasoma it's samoma body and they have a very unique appearance that is papil orphan eye any and it is looking like jalebi so remember what are the jalebi like body they are our which one they are our samoma body so they are jalebi like so how to remember they are seen in all the mamas okay so remember mam this sir which cancer the medullary cancer okay the medullary cancer okay of thyroid shows the yes orphan i any also samoma body also seen in meningioma or serous cyst adenoma or mesothelioma all mass okay all mama 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 samoma is seen in mama mama which mama meningioma mesothelioma and mother has what ovary so ovarian tumor serous ovarian tumor and also which tumor the medullary thyroid cancer so they all show what they show our Yeah, very good. Okay, yes, melanoma, male maja. Kya baat hai? Okay, Richa is also making mnemonics. Very good. Take care. We'll keep sharing the mnemonics with yes students. So I'll just uh, open that file and we'll just have a look at that. Have a look. Okay. Let's see this very rapidly. 
ओके सो दिस इज अवर ये पेपिलरी कार्सिनो सॉरी नॉट मेडलरी आई एम सिंग पेपिलरी कार्सिनोमा यू सी दिस ओके सो पेपिलरी कार्सिनोमा जस्ट बाय मिस्टेक सेड मेमिलरी इज पेपिलरी कार्सिनोमा थायराइड मामा पापा ओके सो रिमेंबर मामा पापा सो सामोमा इज पेपिलरी कैंसर ऑफ थायराइड ओके सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके या सीरस सिस एडिनोमा ऑफ द ओवरीज ओके Now, where is high calcium like PTH, vitamin D, kidney disease, paraneoplastic myeloma? They all have high calcium. This high calcium causes metastatic calcifications. Okay. Now we see aging and death. So basically, multiple reason. It is wear and tear, increased metabolism, environmental factor, diet, calorie restriction will increase life. This is exam question. Ki 20 to 30 percent life can be increased by calorie restriction. That's why thin people like Japanese, Chinese. they live longer than americans who are obese so that's why americans are one of the very few developing country where the uh, life expectancy is actually decreasing why because of yes obesity then telomerase is a enzyme which decide the number of time a cell can divide and as the telomerase get shortened with each division it cannot you know in future uh, duplicate so that's what happen it will lead to yes failure of the cell to replace themselves and that cause decrease number of cell decrease function and that cause the yes eventually atrophy and the death also there are this telomerase can you see is the end of the chromosome telomerase is at the end of the chromosome now free radical they are very reactive they damage the lipid protein membrane and they cause the aging phenomena so what cause the aging aging is caused by our free radicals okay now what are the mechanism of formation most commonly they are caused by food that's the main thing when you eat food it bring the radicals to body because when you eat food whatever food material they all react with oxygen create radicals then uv radiation inflammation enzyme which enzyme super oxide dismutase sod it is actually a anti uh, you know free uh, radical you know it's a antioxidant so sod then nadph peroxidase okay fox then fenton reaction convert iron and hydrogen peroxide into the ferric and the oh oh is hydroxyl which is a free radical then what are the other free radical they are super oxide that is o2 and sar then h2o2 peroxide oh and ocl minus it is called as hypochlorite it is called as the hypochlorite and hypochlorite is what it is our most 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 potent most effective yes anti bacterial substance okay that is why bleaching powder which is used to even disinfect the blood spill is containing it releasing hypochlorite okay fine then pasteurize this i'll not discuss much is all covered in microbiology okay now antioxidants they protect against the radical like green tea red wine contain sirtuin vitamin a c e then rbc contain what rbc has glutathione per oxidase so rbc has what gluta thion per oxidase okay also sod iron binding protein like ferritin transferrin celluloplasmin they all are examples of what they are all our yes antioxidants okay now inflammation obviously it is uh, any response to injury infection trauma now there are two type of inflammation acute or chronic chronic is months to years okay acute is days what are the main thing it is neutrophils which are the main marker which are 2 to 6 multi lobe also called as pmn polymorphonuclear where as in the case of chronic there is healing and it's like it's like ukraine war in ukraine war is going on plus there is also you know you are trying to fight so that's why like afghanistan this fight is going on it's a continuous infection plus some repair and healing also occurs so that is called as chronic and the main cell of chronic is lymphocytes so the main cell is lymphocyte okay now remember the first response is always transient vasoconstriction so the first response after injury it is a vasoconstriction which is followed by vasodilation by histamine so remember who caused the vasoconstriction is serotonin and what caused the vasodilation is histamine and now it also cause redness that is rubber more blood will come and that cause the redness okay now capillary permeability increase so how it increase it is because of the contraction of the endothelial cell as they contract the gap between the cell increases and the wbc can go out of vessel into the interstitium this is the hallmark of inflammation that is increased permeability because of contraction of endothelial cell and now the wbc etc can move into which area into interstitium into the interstitium 
and cause the yes killing of the pathogen okay also it can shift the fluid which can cause the edema because of fluid in the interstitium okay and finally the wbc destroy the pathogen and this is the process of your immigration via diapedesis remember diapedesis okay so summary what are the concept first there is vasoconstriction then vasodilation then endothelial contraction wbc comes out that that's diapedesis and they kill the pathogen via phagocytosis okay now also call for more cell they also call for more wbc so what they use they use the chemotaxis what is chemotaxis it is increased wbc reaching the site of inflammation is called as chemotaxis now inflammation was described by celsus okay and he gave four feature ruber tumor calor dollar dollar is dard dard or pain dollar dard dard is pain okay dolgia is mean pain whereas ruber is redness tumor is swelling there is edema and calor is heat it's calor okay so what is calor is calorie it is heat now rudolf will show who is the father of pathology modern pathology he gave the fifth feature that is loss of function is functio lasse lasse means loss of function okay now inflammation there are two main changes i told you vascular which i discussed already vasoconstriction dilation and increase permeability cellular event is basically dealing with the wbc movement so first is wbc which are in the center have to go to the endothelial cell to go out of the vessel that is called margination and it use basically selectin protein which is a type of cell addition molecule so which protein help in margination it is our selectin then rolling occur rolling is e and p p ke roll karo kaise yaad karoge e p ye e p matlab ye p aur roll mark so rolling rolling will allow the receptor to align with the so the, the ligand to uh, align with the receptor so wbc contain the ligand this wbc it contain the ligand and the receptors are present on the yes on the endothelium this is a receptor so that is why we need addition so addition is mnemonic laffa walla laffa walla so love the yes cell so laffa is lfa1 and vla4 so laffa walla laffa walla lfa1 vla4 and this laffa walla will bind to the endothelial cam i cam and v cam so remember first there is margination then there is rolling and that's done by selectin then there is addition by laffa walla wbc with cam on the endothelial cell remember receptor is on the endothelium then there is diapedesis which mean walking so walking or wbc through the gap is the concept and who use padal chal diya padasis is p cam remember so diapedesis is p cam so what is the protein it is p cam and cd 31 you can see the steps also so this is our vessel this is margination rolling or also called as capture then there is addition then crawling i skip then there is diapedesis what are the protein use it is your p cam so p cam help in what dia paralysis now question remember taxi so what wbc come they come in taxi so taxi chemo taxis and more wbc reach so mnemonic is you call all your five come all five come aise bolte ho all five come don't be late don't be late interleukin 8 so the mnemonic don't be late interleukin 8 and come before time indian police always come after the crime here it will come before so that is it is don't be late don't be late interleukin 8 so don't be late interleukin 8 and finally there is what leukotriene b4 leukotriene b4 what is b4 come before time so remember come before time so requesting your friends to come before time and kill the pathogen before time before so now you will so don't be late lt come before time now phagocytosis is obviously destruction of the pathogen by two method oxygen dependent radicals or oxygen independent enzyme we can use okay now what are the steps recognition opsonization and killing opsonization is making the bacteria tasty by attaching the yes uh, what is it bv so who make tasty food bv make biryani which is very tasty so this i'll discuss very soon that is very very important okay now we see mediator of inflammation in complement we have nine proteins c5a is for chemotaxis okay 3a start the inflammation and 3b 4b 5 remember bbb 3b make tasty so who make tasty food bb and okay bb so what is bb make tasty food so 3b 4b 5b b b b okay 5a chemotaxis okay and what start the inflammatory pathway 
थ्री ए स्टार्ट इंफ्लमेशन ओके सी थ्री ए स्टार्ट दस कॉम्प्लीमेंट एक्टिवेशन ओके नाउ मेम्ब्रेन अटैक कॉम्प्लेक्स इज मैक मैक इज सी फाइव टू नाइन दे मेक पोर इन द मेम्ब्रेन वंस यू मेक द पोर द बैक्टीरिया इज डेड वाई बिकॉज दिस डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ मेम्ब्रेन सो दैट इज द केस ओके सो इट इज वाइस हु मेक टेस्टी फूड बीबी मेक टेस्टी फूड बीबी की बिरयानी सो बी 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 थ्री बी फोर बी फाइव बी थ्री बी फोर बी फाइव बी देन वट इज फॉर कीमोटैक्सिस फाइव ए एंड वट स्टार्ट द दिस एंटायर कॉम्प्लीमेंट पाथवे थ्री ए एंड वट मेक द मेमरी अटैक कॉम्प्लेक्स फाइव टू नाइन फाइव टू नाइन ओके काइनिंस आर फॉर पेन इंक्रीज परिबलिटी अडीमा इवन दे कैन कॉज कफ सो दे ऑल्सो प्ले रोल इन कफ सो दे आर इन लंग दे प्ले रोल इन कफ ऑल्सो एंड एफ एलेक्सिस then comes serotonin it has two main sources one it come from platelet and also come from antrochromaffin cells of git mcq and they are involved in carcinoid syndrome carcinoid syndrome mcq so what is the carcinoid syndrome it is increase 5 hiaa that is indole acetic acid so what the marker it is indole acetic acid in case of carcinoid sweating is there then there is coughing or wheezing okay so that is two main hallmark there is palp this uh, what do you say the patient with carcinoid will be having flushings and also wheezing etc because it cause bronchoconstriction in the lung okay now vasoconstriction is caused by what by our serotonin to prevent the loss and it is a first change which occur on cell injury or inflammation yes very good now clotting factor 1 to 12 play key role in <coughs> stopping the blood loss other mediators histamine it come from mast cell basophil and eosinophil they are for allergic condition mainly type 1 hypersensitivity cause bronchospasm and they are involved in asthma anaphylaxis insect bite hay fever all allergic it is type 1 histamine is coming from mast cell and eosinophil okay also they can cause vasodilation which is responsible for what causing the yes uh, edema redness and also cause shock with shock yes anaphylactic shock okay <clears throat> now nitric oxide was asked in the exam it is formed from arginine or nitric oxide synthase synthetase and nitric oxide plus citrulline is formed citrulline citrulline this citrulline is then uh, released this no act via cycling what is the mechanism inhibit phosphodiesterase pde so it inhibit the pde and that increase our cyclic gmp which cause smooth muscle relaxation and cause vaso dilation that's why it is used for what it is used for which purpose yes it is used for uh, angina vaso dilation very very good okay chal now what is paf paf is platelet activating factor so what is paf it is platelet activating factor it come from mast cell neutrophil and endothelium so what is paf it is coming from mast cell neutrophil endothelium it cause everything it cause bronchoconstriction vasodilation increased probability and also platelet uh, aggregation okay help in clot formation okay now cell membrane contain phospholipids phospholipids and these phospholipids are broken by phospholipase c and that create arachidonic acid this arachidonic acid is a 20 carbon uh, you know fatty acid it has derivative two derivative if lox is given lox is inhibited okay so zeluton inhibited okay basically zeluton zeluton okay and here it is basically by ansets so ansets inhibit the cox and zeluton zeluton inhibit our lipooxygenase now what do lipooxygenase pathway make it make leukotriene and lipoxin remember whereas the cyclooxygenase they make prostaglandins they both are for inflammation but remember lipoxins are anti inflammatory okay and what are the anti inflammatory remember interleukin 10 tgf beta they are anti inflammatory now prostaglandins are so many but remember they cause vasoconstriction or dilation very important topic so remember this i discuss in pediatrics also pgf2 and thromboxane a2 they cause vasoconstriction or dilation they cause vasoconstriction so what they cause vasoconstriction rest cause vasodilation so rest cause vasodilation mcq mnemonic i made is eid 
so in eid everyone is very happy they are all celebrating and their heart is open so dilated so what is dilation by it is eid what is eid e2 i2 d2 so what is causing the eid eid mana lo bhaiyo eid aayegi na eid exam time ke baad so that is your e2 i2 d2 and what cause constriction f2 and thromboxane a2 so that's why what is keeping our pda open e2 remember so that is why if you give al prostadil it will keep our what open yes it'll keep the ductus arteriosus open okay now question is so what they do dilatation increase permeability increase mucin fever so remember fever is mainly by interleukin 1 or tgf alpha which i discussed already okay now leukotriens remember a4 b4 c4 and d4 okay i told you b4 is for chemotaxis okay then bb make tasty food complement we discussed that is also b then bronco constriction and vaso constriction asthma is again caused by our c4 d4 and e4 okay so c4 d4 and e4 so what they do they do yes asthma changes c4 d4 that's why we give what monte lucas which is muscle stabilizer okay or uh, sorry chromoglycate are muscle stabilizer or we can give leukotriene antagonists like monte lucas zafi lucas so that's why we give latra this leukotriene receptor antagonist for blocking or xylitol so they are inhibiting the formation of leukotriene okay now other mediators are acute phase reactants which are crp which is c reactive protein ferritin pharmogen interleukins they all are acute phase reactants now phagocytosis is done mainly by macrophages which are monocytes so when monocytes they so monocytes become macrophages in the tissue also neutrophils also which substances neutrophils are there now what the first step first is do you kill anyone or you need to recognize yes obviously need to recognize that require antigen antibody reaction then opsonization is tasty by using opsonins that is 3b 4b 5b tasty bb banayegi tasty khana bbb then engulfment is the process of surrounding and take it inside the phagocytic vacuole here the lysozyme merge with the vacuole making phago lysosome and then killing up there are two way of killing one is oxygen dependent and oxygen independent remember if it is oxygen independent we use the defensin protein which break the membrane then lysozymes protease proteinase cathepsin so they all are your lytic enzyme where as oxygen dependent use free radicals mainly it use the free radicals to kill so if you are using free radicals you are oxygen dependent that is why when you are having a uh, oxygen dependent pathway for phagocytosis it increase respiratory drive okay that is causing oxidative stress now sod is what superoxide dismutase oh is hydroxyl then ocl is hypochlorite is the most effective and there is a fox gene what is fox gene it is na dph oxidase it's called as fox gene so this is called as fox gene p o h fox what is fox is it is yes na dph oxidase okay now what happens it convert oxygen into superoxide so mcq who convert our oxygen into superoxide so remember it is our superoxide molecule now the enzyme is yes superoxide dismutase so this dismutase convert the superoxide into h2o2 which is hydrogen peroxide and then milo peroxidase come along with chloride add chloride it create our hocl or ocl minus which is hypochlorite ion which kill or destroy the bacteria so let's revise what come first nadph so what come first nadph come first okay and this is fox gene which made for this enzyme this oxidase convert oxygen into superoxide which molecule superoxide this superoxide then with the help of sod convert to h2o2 then mpo and halide which halide chloride convert ocl minus which is the most efficient what bactericidal agent in this case are you clear so this is a summary i have given already and this is important now chronic inflammation what happens in chronic there is a repair regeneration and infection can persist why because the immunity is not strong enough to overcome the infection so that is why it is having both going simultaneously repair is also happening and them like in india in india one side they are digging the road other side they are filling the road so india always like a chronic inflammatory state okay now the immune system is trying to stop the infection from growing so that's why the target is not to kill the pathogen but to limit the pathogen via granuloma it's a like of what 
यस यू आर डिलेइंग द प्रोसेस तो कॉल इज डिलेड और सेल मेडिएटेड हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी मेनली लिम्फोसाइट सो व्हाट इज द मेन सेल इट इज लिम्फोसाइट व्हिच इज कॉजिंग द डिलेड और सेल मेडिएटेड हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी नाउ इंटरलुकिन 1 व्हिच मेनली कमिंग फ्रॉम एम1 मैक्रोफेजेस आर कॉजिंग फ्री रेडिकल्स एंड डिस्ट्रॉय सो दे कॉज इंफ्लेमेशन एंड डिस्ट्रॉय द पैथोजन we are as if it is macrophage 2 it release interleukin 10 also lipoxin remember i told you and tgf beta they are anti inflammatory they play role in stopping the inflammation and start the repair and regeneration that's why they are the marker of what chronic inflammation okay now granuloma what are the question they will ask you first it is a classical caseus granuloma seen in tb so caseus is seen in the tb and the hallmark hallmark is cheesy material in the center called as caseus then surrounded by macrophages some of the macrophage can fuse to become giant cell what is giant cell it is multinucleated because of fusion of macrophages so giant cell this is the giant cell can you see this so this is the giant cell it is made by multiple fusion so it's multinucleated so you can write it is multinucleated multinucleated okay then there is surrounding lymphocytes you can see lymphocytes surrounding it and finally what is there fibroblast which will yes cover them and that is what is granuloma formation okay now question is what are types of granuloma so there are types infectious or non-infectious remember i told you mnemonic tb leprosy histo so tb leprosy are kgs so how to remember tv you are watching a tv and have a laptop in his lap so remember his laptop and watching the tv so tv something syphilis chlamydia so syphilis syphilis chlamydia are infectious but they are non caseous which are caseous these are non caseous caseous are tv leprosy and histoplasmosis now non infectious first is our sarcoidosis which has a naked granuloma mcq so where do you see naked granuloma they don't have the coverings so naked granuloma is seen in which condition it is seen in sarcoidosis also axial calcification can be there then crohn disease again it show non infectious vaginus granulomatosis rheumatoid arthritis chuck stoss in chuck stoss there is a eosinophilic granuloma is seen in chuck stoss okay donut remember the shape of donut look like a q so q fever is donut shape and dirk is malaria remember the mosquito dunk martha dirk or dar lagta hai malaria na ho jaye so malaria is dirk malaria so it's device I'll ask you one second. Dirk, where is Dirk seen? My question to you people, where do you see Dirks? Where do you see Dirk? This is the, yes, Gilnoma, Dirk, Dirk. Where do you see the Dirk? Dirk. Dirk is seen in, yes, it is seen in malaria. Where do you see naked Gilnoma? Naked, naked. Naked, naked, naked. Where do you see naked? Yes, naked is sarcoidosis. Then caseous and infectious. It is seen in TB, leprosy, and uh, histoplasmosis. Syphilis chlamydia is yes, non caseating. Okay. Now, what are the stages in the wound repair and healing? In surgery, I also cover this primary intention, etc. So now we'll discuss wound healing and repair. First is immediate. Immediate, if they ask you, immediate is what? It is your what substance? It is your blood clot which is formed by the platelet and RBC. Later, it is called as temporary. So, it's a temporary one. It is temporary. Temporary. And what is permanent? It is fibrin will create the permanent clot. So, it is temporary clot. The permanent is made by our fibrin. Okay. Then, first day, neutrophil and clot is formed. 24 to 48, the epithelium closes the wound. So, epithelial closer occur. Third day, macrophages replace neutrophil and start doing phagocytosis of the debris. Fifth day, collagen start and there is maximum epithelium on the fifth day. But remember, two weeks, WBC disappear and now there is maximum collagen. So, when is the maximum collagen? It is on the second week onward. There is healing with scar because of collagen deposition. Now, wound strength depends on the cross-linking of collagen 3 and it need vitamin C. So that's why later replaced by collagen 1. So let's try. What is the collagen coming in the injury? It is collagen 3 from the fibroblast. Later it is replaced by collagen number 1. And what is needed for the wound strength? It is cross linking. But cross linking is maximum. 
it reads 70 to 80 percent of what original yes of the original strength never 100 percent okay and scar is due to collagen deposition there are two type keloid is remember dark black kala kala so kala in hindi means black so keloid is much darker than skin and seen in black people whereas hypertrophic is same or can be lighter okay and is very commonly seen and it can be seen any person so what is darker and seen in dark people that is keloid then black people they spread out from africa remember this theory so all human originated from the uh, africa mainly they say rift valley in kenya and they spread to all the planet earth so same way remember black spread out okay and they expand out whereas what stay hypertrophic scars say. and remember keloid is less common and it is seen at which area remember kan kan then in the kandha kandha that is shoulder area kandha and sternum that is in the center so this is the case and they reoccur very commonly whereas hypertrophic scar is uh, not going to reoccur and they contract and shrink in size treatment of keloid is what intra lesional steroid so it is intra lesional steroid we use triamcinolone or we can do excision also excision excision of the yes tumor so what we can do excision can be done are you clear excision so mistake is there but you know it's not my so excision is the case this is a keloid mainly on the sternum area also clavicle so this is the keloid which expand which is darker than the skin color and reoccur and occur mainly in black people so this is our file now we will see so this i will save and upload in the group so this will be the save file <coughs> let's come to the tumors now so let's see the tumor part so i'm discussing the tumor part now. okay so let's start okay neoplasia so let's come with me neoplasia so in neoplasia what happens it is uncontrolled cell growth the cell basically has a uh, you know orientation or polarity one is apical other is basal but there's a loss of polarity and also loss of differentiation cell is supposed to do specific function that is differentiation but now they lose the differentiation plus there's pleomorphism different shape increase mitosis is there and nuclear sardine ratio will increase nucleus appear much bigger and mitotic you know activity is increased okay fine now remember next point there is two kind of developmental anomalies one is choreostoma and hematoma remember hematoma hamara hai so it is a abnormal tissue but at normal site and hematoma martoma is malignant so who is malignant hematoma mar mar lega malignant hai. so hematoma is malignant it's a abnormal tissue normal site where is chore what is chore Chore is a person who is at abnormal area. Like I am at my home. I am not a thief. But if I am in someone else's home, it will be a, I will be called as a thief. So what is chore? Chore is normal tissue but abnormal site. What is hematoma? Hematoma is an abnormal tissue at a normal site. So what is hematoma? It is an abnormal tissue at normal. What is choreostoma? It is normal tissue at abnormal site. Also called as atopic tissue. So remember? Chore, chore is a yes, right person, wrong place. Okay, hematoma is your abnormal tissue at normal site. Now, remember the origin and the name. If epithelial tissue are making a tumor, their marker is cytokeratin. What is the marker? Cytokeratin, and they are mostly squamous uh, epithelial tissue or glands. Glands will be adenoma if they are benign, and if it is squamous, it will be squamous papilloma if they are malignant they will do metastasis and they are called as squamous cell carcinoma okay or adeno so that's why epithelial tissue are making cancers for the two type of cancer they can make so two type of cancer they make are squamous or adeno if benign oma if malignant carcinoma are you clear now and marker is cytokeratin marker is cytokeratin now come mesenchymal tissue what tissue mesenchymal tissue in mesenchymal tissue, we have basically sarcoma, okay, and the marker is vementin. So, who's the marker? Vementin. If bone, it is osteoma benign, and if malignant, it is osteosarcoma. So, remember, in this case, the sarcoma is there, epithelial carcinoma. So, epithelial carcinoma is there, and in sarcoma is mainly mesenchymal tissue. Bone, if osteoma is benign, 
if it is malignant osteosarcoma vessel angioma angiosarcoma muscle rhabdomyoma rhabdomyosarcoma and it contain vimentin and desmin and what is there in keratin keratin is a marker for tell me kids what is keratin seen in keratin 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 what is keratin give the answer keratin is the marker for your keratin will be what tell me keratin So tell me, so keratin, yes, keratin is basically for carcinoma epithelial tissue, okay, yes, it could be squamous or it could be that, very, very good and very, very important in this case, fine, chal. Let's continue. Okay. Now, if cartilage is chondroma and the marker is, yes, chondrosarcoma can be the tumor. Okay. Not marker. Marker is vimentin and desmin. Okay. Mixed tumor are basically when two, uh, you know, <coughs> type of tissue like epithelial or mesenchymal, <coughs> like pleomorphic adenoma <coughs> is a tumor of parotid gland and Wilms tumor is of kidney. If all three germs layer, it is called a teratoma and teratoma is having bone, cartilage here teeth etc present inside the tumor so what tumor contain like there is teratoma okay now what do you do if a tumor resemble well differentiated cell it has good prognosis if it is having no differentiation it's mostly a cancer also called anaplasia so the hallmark of malignancy is loss of differentiation or anaplasia is there so anaplasia is the hallmark of what hallmark of malignancy okay then other feature mitotic figures are seen in dysplasia then there are multipolar pleomorphism is more in anaplasia increased nuclear cytoplasm ratio hyperchromatism loss of polarity is again seen mainly in anaplasia so dysplasia is a disorder growth which can cause a anaplasia anaplasia is a proper cancer you can say or malignancy in this case and reversible dysplasia can be reverse but they are irreversible okay so this is a basement membrane these are cell which are increased dysplasia is what you can see big nucleus this is very big nucleus plus the cell size is showing what increased number okay and anaplasia is very big nucleus loss of uh, polarity also pleomorphism is there they are all finding over they are finding of our anaplasia now this is yes retinoblastoma which we discuss in optha so I'll not be discussing that i will rather focusing on this okay right next question how does the tumor spread so remember lymphatics are used by cancer so lymphatics are using cancer except rcc scc and follicular thyroid they are not using what they are not using the uh, lymph only but they can be via blood also okay whereas sarcoma use what sarcoma what do sarcoma use so sarcomas can use what they can use what? I'll just remove these things. Okay. So, I'll just remove this. Okay. So, follicular cancers, follicular cancers. Okay. <coughs> I'll just remove it. Okay. So, remember follicular cancer. Okay. Of thyroid. RCC, SCC. They are yes not via lymph then blood is sarcomas direct is ovarian tumor they are spreading directly okay now comes the question <coughs> there is cyclins what do cyclins do cyclins regulate the cell cycling and what is the order of this okay yes so what is the order g1 s g2 m so g1 s g2 remember g1 g1 start with g1 and obviously we are doubling everything but not the dna so when is the dna starting s s is your yes dna doubling of the chromosome is s then you check before you start the multiplication mitosis so that is g2 g2 is error check and then you allow if g2 is fine what do you allow you allow the mit mitosis and after mitosis cell can again go in g1 and make so that is why what is the checkpoint 
yes check point is mainly at g2 where the checking whether to allow mitosis or not is done okay so what regulates cyclins will regulate and they are yes <coughs> at various stages now tumor suppressor gene is mainly p53 which is the policeman of the genome so the policeman it is p53 mutation causes lee fro many syndrome lee fro many syndrome and mnemonic is blast <coughs> so the mnemonic is mnemonic is blast blast is breast and the brain so what is blast is brain and blast uh, tumors l is lung a is adrenal s is skin t is tumors so what is blast it is a feature of lee from any syndrome which is due to mutation of p53 who's a policeman of the genome in this case okay <coughs> now come rb gene it's a tumor suppressor and we have discussed that in what we have discussed that in our what exam uh, in optha revision it is your yes tera q 14 gene remember 13 q 14 genes what the gene is 13 q 14 gene okay now man what is man is Men is multiple endocrine tumor. Now remember how to revise it. I made a mnemonic. Men one is PPP. Men two is PMT. What is PPP? It is PPP. All three are men. So mnemonic is let's say Paras Pit Pan. So Paras Pit Pan. Spit Pan. So Paras or someone anything or anything. So that is parathyroid. Okay. Pit is pituitary and Pan. Okay. <coughs> so that is the mnemonic. Okay. So pit and pan. So that is why paras para parathyroid pit is pituitary pan is chewing okay pancreatic. So the three it is called as Werner. Man two is PMT. What is PMT? Pheochromocytoma and medullary thyroid cancer. Medullary thyroid PMT. So what is PMT? Pheochromocytoma and medullary thyroid. It has two type. Man two A, man two B. In two A there is para thyroid. So PMT plus parathyroid also called a simple syndrome. Also called simple. Wormers is what? Wormers is man one, and man two A is simple. And if it is ganglioneuromatosis, it is called as man two B. Hundred percent exam question. Fifth March it will be there. So don't ignore this. Fifth March what could be there? This could be a exam question for sure. Which topic? The <coughs> man topic. Man one. And men too. So let's revise it. What is men? PPP. What is men is PPP. Okay. Men one is PPP called as Wormers. And what is PPP? It is para, pit, and uh, this pancreatic pituitary parathyroid. If PMT, if PMT, what is PMT? What is PMT? PMT is your pheochromocytoma and it is medullary thyroid. Remember, PMT is not same as any of the P. And if it is PMT with parathyroid, it is called as simple double P is there. And if there is ganglioneuromatosis, it's meant to be, it's meant to be, okay. Now we see the <coughs> tumor markers. So what are the tumor markers? Let's start. So first is for York sac and the liver. It is there, okay. So let me just say. So for York sac and HCC, this is our, which one? It is our alpha fetoprotein. So what is alpha fetoprotein? Endodermal sinus, where you see can see all the hairs, remember teratoma, then SCC and yolk sac. What do you see? Alpha fetal. Gastrin is PNAT, okay. Pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor is gastrin. Keratin, remember it's uh, squamous uh, cancers, so it is carcinoma cervix. Then CA125 is the surface epithelial tumor <coughs> of the ovary. So what are the marker here? It is CA125. Then ER, PR, HER and BRCA and BRCA, BRCA 1 and 2, we all know. It is for breast cancer, JSR covered very well in surgery, BRCA. Then C15.3, 15.3 is breast. So what is breast? ER, PR, HER2, BRCA, CA15.3, CA15.3. Then our come CA19.9, CA19.9. It is colon and pancreas. Then PSA. What is PSA? Prostatic carcinoma. Prostatic carcinoma. So in prostatic carcinoma, PSA is found. Then alpha, we have discussed already, is SCC and yoxate tumor endodermal. Then beta SCG is choriocarcinoma and also mole. So that is mole. Okay, SCG is checked. And calcium is medullary carcinoma of thyroid. Medullary carcinoma of thyroid. 
and LDH is semi. So remember, LDH is semi noma in this case. What is LDH? Semi noma. LDH is semi noma in this case. I hope it's clear. Okay. Now we see the genetic part. So let's start with the genetic part here. Okay. So in genetic, first remember what do we have? So what do we have is basically karyotyping. So what is karyotyping? It is your chromosomal study. Karyo means chromosome typing study. Key number. We arrange them in number and see whether the number is normal or not normal. So first question, what are the sample? We'll discuss first before that. There are 23 pair of chrome. Sorry, 23 pair. That's why we are deployed and we have 46 chromosome called as euploid. Okay. Now 22 are autosomal. One pair determine the sex. So they are the one pair of sex chromosome. If X and X chromosome, it is female. If X and Y, it is always male. Why? Because Y chromosome contain a region on the chromosome called as SRY. That is the sex region on the chromosome Y. It mainly make the testosterone and androgen binding protein. So that's why, how will you know it's male or female? Very simple. If it is Y, it will be male. No Y, always female. So that's the rule. Now, if there's a defect in the number of chromosomal number, that is called as aneuploidy. What is aneuploidy? Number defect. So what is aneuploidy? It is, yes. Very good. Yes, mass dog is true. So it is the tumor marker calcium negative. Yes, medullary thyroid. It's CEA. Okay, very good. Now, what is the concept? Imagine there's a peer and in the peer, what is there? There's a girl and boy. Not the case, but a peer. Friends. Now, in a peer, Building is there with 23 pairs, so 46 chromosome. Now, what can be the defect? Someone leave the partner or break up. If there is breakup, that is failure to separate during the meiosis. So, this is what? Failure. So, what happens? They are stuck. So, that will cause three pair, uh, three, three, three chromosome. And if they are again separated, so some of the cells will get only one chromosome. So, that is called as monosomy. So, either there is what? Some you know, relationship, three people are there, love triangle, some lose their partner because of breakup or death. So that's why monosome is, chromosome is left alone, trisome is, there are three chromosome, that is called as trisomy. So here 47 chromosome or there is 45. So it is 47, trisomy, 45 is monosomy, okay. Now comes the question, what are the trisomy? So remember, 13 year old, 13 year old, nibba nibbi, Inko nahi patana chahiye, not patao. So don't patao their bacha bachi, their kid, let them play with dolls. So no patao. So what is patao? It is 13. Okay. Then Edward is 18. So what age we can put elections, vote in the election? Election 18 Edward. So election 18 Edward. And when do we settle down? Settle down 21. Down 21. But remember, not doctors. Doctors never settle down. Okay. Doctors never settle down. They're always running here and there okay pdf i told you multiple time i uploaded all the group but it's not in my control okay please message me i will send nine eight nine nine five two nine four six eight is my phone number please message me i will forward the pdf to you people okay so this is my phone number okay nine eight nine nine five two nine four six eight okay okay and it is the most common cause of mental radiation. So the most common cause of mental, it is our downs. Okay. Now, if there's an extra X in a male, it becomes Kleinfelter. And if there is a missing, if there is a missing X, it becomes a monosomy called as a Turner syndrome, also called as gonadal degenesis, is the most common cause of primary A minoria called as Turner or missing X. And remember, if there are only two, if there are two X chromosome, it make one bar body. If there is only one X, there will be no bar body, MCQ, no bar body. So bar body, a dumbbell shape structure, which is seen in WBC indicating inactivated X chromosome. So no bar body, which are bar bodies. So bar bodies are basically inactivated X chromosomes. So they are inactivated X chromosome. So that is called as the bar body. So if there are two bar body, it means X, X, Y could be what X, sorry, X, X, X. So there are three X, you'll get two bar body. If there are two X, we'll get one bar body. If there's only one X, we'll get no bar body. So that is the concept. So I discussed that already. If someone is having three X, it's called super female. 
super female super female and what will you see you will see two bar body two bar if axis klein filter in Clyde again you will get one bar body mcq and if it is uh, xx less normal female again you will get one bar but if it is turner if it is turner xo turner you will get zero bar body. This was the exam question and bar body you have seen the photo dumbbell shape structure. So yes, okay, fine. So that is the concept we will see or discuss in this case. Done now? So clear now? Okay, now come back. What is the method so remember what are we going to do or discuss okay see basically bar bodies are seen in all somatic cell but davidson bodies are mainly in the uh, leukocyte so wbc we check this the uh, davidson so davidson r wbc okay so davidson r wbc i'll just write down where i wrote okay so bar body is all cells you can see and Davidson are mainly in uh, WBC. So they are similar concept, but slightly difference is the cells. Okay, so are you clear now? Okay. So mainly which cells? The neutrophils. Neutrophils. Okay, neutrophils. Done? Okay. Now comes a question. What are the two methods of diagnosis of the aneuploidy one is we can do chorionic villus sampling serious or we can do what so serious or you can do amniocentesis <laughs> we can do what amniocentesis what you can do amniocentesis can be done now what is the age obviously you can do first trimester what can be done so in first trimester we can do amniocentesis serious serious okay as early as 11 as early as 11 weeks okay so people have said 10 to 12 weeks but most commonly done at the 11 whereas amniocentesis can be done at 15 to 20 most common is it is 18 weeks okay so what is done in first trimester it is serious and amniocentesis is second trimester so that's why it is giving a fast result within what three weeks you can get the result okay and 24 hours culture 10 day to 3 weeks okay direct is 24 whereas culture of the amniocentesis fetal amniocytes will take 3 to 4 weeks so what take more time amniocentesis but problem is in case you are having a high risk of having any uh, chromosomal abnormality then we will go for cvs okay but if there is low risk we can go for amniocentesis why because if you do amniocentesis time taken is more and if time taken is more the abortion become difficult so that's why risky abortion so risky to abort risky to abort so that's why what is risky to abort it is our amniocentesis why because it's late whereas what is easy to do mtp trimester you can do mtp very easily that is the case so if high risk will go for cvs if low risk will go for amniocentesis okay second Fetal loss is more. Why? Because if you do CVS, it can cause fetal limb defect. Fetal limb defect. Whereas <coughs> amniocentesis is what? Less risk of what? Less risk of abortion is there. So what is there? It is less risk of abortion. Why? Because it doesn't damage the fetus per se. Okay. Finally, so maternal effects are less here. It is more clear in the case okay now let's see trisomy 13 here we see three chromosome in yes 13 uh, number so that is patau in patau what is the finding there is small head absent eyebrow cleft lip and palate also there is deformed ear recurrent abortion question is there so if the question on recurrent abortion think of what patau syndrome okay especially in this case okay clench hand polydactyly extra fingers all are findings of what they are findings of what yes our which disease yes they are findings of our what disease yes it is our patau then trisomy 18 
क्लब फीट और रॉकर बॉटम फुट रॉकर बॉटम हियर वी सी 18 ट्राइजोमी एंड इट इज एडवर्ड ओके सो दैट इज द केस ओके सो एडवर्ड एंड आल्सो क्लेफ पैलेट कैन बी सीन हियर क्लेफ लिप एंड पैलेट सो दीस आर द फाइंडिंग इन दिस केस आर यू क्लियर नो सो दीस आर द फाइंडिंग्स ओके देन दिस ट्राइजोमी माइक्रोसेफली क्लियर इयर्स आर माइल्ड फॉर्म क्लेफ लिप एंड पैलेट hands can be clenched into fist index finger overlap the other and also club feet is there okay webbing can be seen so these are seen in edward syndrome then come very famous trisomy 21 that is three chromosome in yes 21 category iq is low here and it is a most common cause of mental retardation genetic cause if they ask you for mental retardation it is your fragile x and your x could be autosomal recessive also or x link recessive also so remember if they say low iq most common cause the answer is downs but if they seeing genetic cause or some mutation or it is mendelian then it is fragile x but remember overall it is your downs now downs finding so remember there is what decrease muscle tone at birth then there is a webbing of the neck okay excessive skin flattened nose is there so mongoloid appearance upper slanting these two give mongoloid appearance small ear small mouth then wide short hand with short uh, fingers plus the joints between the bone skull is separate that is it is not fusing on time single crease in the palm that is called as simian crease so fingers are short fingers and also there is a single crease called as simian crease which is seen in monkeys that's why called as simian means monkey and white spot why monkeys don't have opposable thumb because we have opposable thumb we are able to have extra crease this crease is because of our thumb monkeys don't have opposable thumb they grasp like this so that's why they grasp only like this not like this so that is why they cannot make tools like humans and that is why we have this you know line so simian what is missing the thumb line is missing thumb line is missing also they can have the white spot on the colored part of eye plus they have also mongoloid spots so many findings are there okay in downs okay now this is our klein felter in klein felter remember it is male but with low testosterone so male with low testosterone that's why they have lots of feminine feature like less here so they are very hairless then they have lack of secondary sexual development so that's why their voice remain feminine plus their height is very tall they are very tall why they are tall there is lack of epiphyseal closure so delayed epiphyseal closure because what caused the epiphyseal closure testosterone is not there so delayed epiphyseal closure that's why height is very tall then there is gynecomastia also taking place so it's also taking place gynecomastia is taking place so gynecomastia is there okay also what else do we see discuss or have in this case right lh fsh increase by lack of negative feedback causes the lh fsh to increase plus gynecomastia so let's see the feature of klein felter karyotype most common is 47 that is excess y long stature i told you because of delayed infertility because the gonads are not developed small testes and small penis then infertility is very high non disjunction of paternal i told you that's why there is extra x chromosome because of non separation <coughs> and that is what uh, the proportions are like anches okay so anchnoid yeah ochnoid body proportion then fsh is elevated okay why because i told you lack of negative feedback and then the ratio between estrogen and testosterone is increased that's why high estradiol causes gynecomastia lh is more leukemia risk is increased especially aml plus breast tumor learning disability testes is small less testosterone that cause the feminine or this ochnoid proportion okay this is the klein felter syndrome very tall with gynecomastia small testes excess y turner is basically missing turner is missing what missing one x chromosome that is turner okay now in turner what is the finding very important primary amenorrhea wide space nipple there could be cardiac abnormality like constriction of aorta or coarctation of aorta then the hair line is receding so hair line can you see in this girl the hair line is much backward so receding hair line plus there is streak ovary the gonads are not developed properly called as streak ovaries okay so that's why no menstruation primary amenorrhea is there plus you can have brown spot navy small finger white space nipple short metacarpal and shield shaped thorax so these are the findings in what in the 
Turner syndrome. So these are in the Turner syndrome. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm discussing Mendelian inheritance. So this is we discussed already. Okay. Ki what we can do CVS or amniocentesis and results are faster in CVS 48. If you're doing a yes direct examination and otherwise it take more time for amniocentesis. So in high risk, we'll go for CVS. CVS is more risky for the fetus, but safe for mother because you can do abortion much faster. Okay. Now, remember for Mendelian inheritance, it is the mnemonic I told you what <clears throat> first don't know, don't know if disease is in parents and children, there is no skipping that is no skipping, then it is dominant. So no skipping of generation. So if you can see a disease in both the generation that is parents and kid, it is dominant. So dominant is both have the disease. So if both parents and kid have the disease, it is dominant. That is autosomal dominant or X linked dominant, XLD, X linked dominant. How to remember? In case of autosomal dominant, the father can pass to the what? Son. Okay. So father to son. Okay. Cannot pass uh, to son if it's X. Why? Because father give Y. So here all daughters. All daughters here father to son. If father to son, so remember a mnemonic, if it is all daughters, father and all daughters, then it is X-link dominant like all daughters. If father to son, it is autosomal dominant. Are you clear? If, if parents don't have the disease, they are the carriers, but kids have the disease, it is recessive. And if only sons are having the disease, and so if sons are diseased, it is X-link. If both girls and boys have the disease, it is autosomal so let me revise once again, please understand because this is a hundred percent exam question. Okay. <coughs> if, if person is disease and either parent is disease, disease is present in both, it is dominant. If parents don't have the disease, parents not disease. That is skipping, skipping is there. It's a recessive disease. Now in case of dominant, if all daughters affected, it is X link dominant. If male to male, that is Y to Y chromosome, that means what? It cannot be what? It cannot be, yes, actually, why? Father give autosomal chromosomes to son and Y to the son, not the X. So it cannot be X, it is autosomal. So male to male transmission, that is father to son, indicate autosomal dominant, okay? Now, <clears throat> if parents are not disease and the daughter and son both have disease, sons are disease then it is autosomal recessive if only males if only males it is x link recessive so only males is x l r so it is x l r i hope it's clear then 100 percent exam question okay 100 percent fine so i'll do the things later don't worry let's finish it <coughs> now comes the pedigree analysis now remember in pedigree, you know the boxes, this square box means male, circle means female. If not specified, we have this rhomboidal shape, it's actually a, a square only, but it's shown in oblique fashion. Then proband, okay, we put the arrow, then affected black and if carrier half black, if carrier half black in autosomal, if x link, we put a dot. So x link, we put a dot, okay. Then if disease, you put a slanting line, that means the person or the patient is dead. So dead is put a slash. If divorce, the relationship line is cut. If consanguous, that is relationship, incest or relatives. So if they are relative, you put double line. Double line means they are related to each other. Couple, we have the straight line and their kids are given by the branching. So that is their, yes, offspring. If adopted, we make a box and adopted out, given out, then you make a box which is solid. Okay. Then monozygotic A. A means monozygotic, just V or uh, A without the line is dizygotic twins. Okay. If unknown, you put question mark. Are you clear? So A means, A means monozygotic, just V or reverse V means dizygotic. Now, <clears throat> let's learn important autosomal recessive diseases. It's a hundred percent exam question. A to E and I'll make it easy for you. It is all ureas. It is all metabolic error. PKU, alkapton urea, which has the dark urine. Also homocysteine urea. 
so all the conditions are put here are you clear now so all the homocysteine urea all urea so remember one mnemonic all urea and all ureas so almost all urea homocysteine urea are there now let's say a a is alkaptone i told you all urea so alkaptone urea then ataxia two ataxia a a two ataxia one is ataxia telangiectasia and second is frederick's ataxia frederick's ataxia then b is beta thalassemia and two hemolytic anemia which two most common they are thalassemia their sickle cell and thalassemia c is cystic fibrosis and congenital adrenal hyperplasia d is deafness d is deafness e is emphysema what is e is emphysema so remember lung diseases two lung diseases which are congenital cystic fibrosis and emphysema f is frederick ataxia which i discussed already g gau gau mata what does gau cow do cow gau gau give milk so galactosemia and homocysteinuria hemochromatosis now i'll make it easy let's revise with me let's revise okay so we are revising i need your help so what is a mnemonic mnemonic is a b c d e f g h i first i told you a a for what uh, albinism ataxia ataxia r2 one this ataxia other is frederick's ataxia frederick's ataxia are you clear and it's ataxia telangiectasia okay then alkaptone urea which i put in all i i is all urea so i don't write alkaptone urea all ureas are already there are you clear then what is b for what is the b b b b what is b for b b b b b b b give what is there in b yes beta thalassemia and sickle cell very good anemias so a you can say for anemia also a for anemia also c is congenital adrenal hyperplasia cystic fibrosis and also you can say congenital emphysema okay a or c congenital emphysema so that is e for us emphysema d is for deafness and diabetes g is gauchers 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 and galactosemia okay h is for hemochromatosis hemo and one h is our uh, which one homocysteine urea which i discussed already so all urea so i think now it's appearing easy yes you are right yes <clears throat> you are right malhar yes pema shorpa yes richa mahima wo optha i will do once we have the last day last session to fata fat mein karwa dunga abhi nahi karaya because I wanted the patho part to be complete properly. Okay. So are you all able to remember albinism, ataxia, beta, thalassemia, sickle cell, all. So they all are responsible and having the feature here. Are you clear? So all are here. Okay. <coughs> Mahima, tomorrow I have a flight. There's a problem. And after my flight, there's a session of uh, what Ashwini sir. So no slot is available okay but don't worry 28 28 and first march i promise to do all the remaining pending topic okay you know speed is good in one and a half hour i covered patho all general patho with this so we'll cover don't worry and i'll take longer session till 10 pm so 6 to 10 so that's why i don't have to face any problem i will cover okay just Trust me, okay. Just study yourself and I, let me do my session, okay. So, what is A? Albinism, ataxia, telangiectasia. B is beta thalassemia and sickle cell. C is congenital adult hyperplasia, cystic fibrosis, congenital emphysema. D is deafness, very neuro, uh, what do you say? Sense neural. E is emphysema. F is Frederick ataxia. G is gaseous and galactosemia. H is hemochromatosis. Now, don't remember autosomal dominant. Skip them. They are what? Autosomal recessive. They are AR. AR. AR is A2, EF, R. Now AD skip. AD skip. I'll discuss them later, but AD skip. Now remember our X link dominant. Remember X link dominant are TTs. They are TT and OATs. OAT. Now you'll never make a mistake. So what are TT? They are TT like Alport, okay, rickets and RET syndrome. So RET, vitamin D deficit rickets and OAT. Alport and charcoals. What is ports are? Alport. 
and Charcot. Charcot Marie Tull disease and TT. What is TT? It is rickets and rats. Also, fragile X syndrome. Fragile X. Remember, X could be very dominant also or it could be recessive. So, remember, our X is very fragile and it could be dominant or it could be. So, all of us have very fragile ego X and they could be autosomal, sorry, x link dominant also, x link recessive. So, fragile X could be XLR or XLD, MCQ. So, what are the x link? Yes, red rose. So, I made a better mnemonic. Okay. Kararo Mahima, don't worry. Okay. PSM, okay, fine. PSM, I'll take. OBG, thoda sa, I'm not very, you know, sure because I never studied OBG in my whole life and on 5th of March, I will leave all OBG questions. Okay. So, let's start. Better than doing OBGs, I will leave the exam. Okay. Chal. So, let's start. This is our X link dominant. Okay. So, what is the mnemonic? It is rickets, ret, at, at, tets, and fragile X, alpot, charcot, ots. So, alpot, charcot, ret. Sare ta, 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 ta. So, what task? Rickets, rets, alpot, and charcot. Rot, rot, rot. So, sare rots, RTs. So, all RTs are what? Rights. They are our medicine to leni hai. medicine uh, ENT PSM these three I have earmarked for these two day okay so we'll take in these two day medicine and uh, ENT and uh, which one biochemistry and PSM four subject will do in this days okay OBG pata nahi bhai I'll try to take OBG otherwise this I will cover okay let's cover so red rose for all children so X link hypophosphatemic rickets so RT RT so RT में ricket भी आ गया RT में red भी आ गया RT में port भी आ गया RT में char code भी आ गया सारे RT सारे RT किस में आ गए X link dominant so सारे RT are X link dominant okay अब remember our X link recessive disorders what do you remember X link recessive disorder you people remember so what are we discussing X link recessive. Now, which are the X link recessive disorder? Remember, Lady Harding, I made a mnemonic X. So, mnemonic I made was let's you want to kill your X. Okay. So, you have a very fragile X and you drink whiskey. You drink whiskey and you will try to kill your yeah, Dushman. Dushin. So, Dushin, Dushman, X. So, you drink whiskey and you want to kill. Kill. And you are a hunter. So, you are a color blind hunter. So, color blind hunter. Story sunte. Color blind hunter drink whiskey. Viscott Eldritch. And he want to kill the Dushman X. Which is very fragile. So, fragile X, Dushman X. Okay. And when he kill, what happens? The blood will come. So, hemophilia. Hemophilia. Philia would be there. Hemophilia will be there. Okay. And remember, muscle dystrophy is there. So, Duchenne is there. That is the case. So, let's start. So, what are the diseases? There is G6PD also. G6PD. So, hemophilia and both are related to this G6PD. So, what are the diseases? Fragile X, Dushman, Duchenne, X. Whiskey P, color blind hunter, kill, hemophilia and G6PD. So, this is the mnemonic. So, let's revise. So, what the mnemonic is? Whiskey P, color blind hunter, ne. color blind hunter, color blind hunter, drink whiskey and go to kill Dushman X, Dushman, Dushen X, Fragile X and blood is released, hemophilia occur. So much blood is released, hemophilia occur. Okay, that's it. And G6PD, again, there is hemolysis. So, hemo, hemo. So, are you clear? So, kiska blood loss kara diya? Uska. Or leash nan. Leash nan syndrome. Okay. So, I think that is clear. Kya baat hai richa? Yes. Color blind hunter drink whiskey and kill Dushman X. Okay. And cause blood loss. That cause what? Blood loss. What is blood loss? Hemophilia and G6PD. So, I think that is more than sufficient. Okay. All the remaining are autosomal dominance. All the remaining are our 
autosomal dominant. So these are mnemonic heavy dominant, mainly their collagen disorder, GIT problem like H and PC, hereditary neoplastic, you know, uh, this uh, coronic carcinoma. Then there is what? Uh, APC, which is colon uh, polyposis. Then collagen disorder, Haller Danlos and our Marfan, they are both collagen disorder. Then this neurofibromatosis, <coughs> a chondroplasia, you know, that uh, what? Short height people, which are having a chondro, their kids are also short stature, so it is what? Then tuberous sclerosis, nonan. So I don't want to remember them. I don't even want to remember them. Just remember all the remaining, <coughs> all the remaining are this, okay? So I'm not trying to make more mnemonic. I'm just making it easy. What I gave you, <coughs> A2H, A2H or I is autosomal recessive. Ta, 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 or ruts, ruts, ruts. They are dominant. They are X-link dominant. Then colorblind hunter story is X-link recessive. And all the remaining are autosomal dominant. All are autosomal. See, we are expecting at least 80 to 100 marks, yeah, MCQs from our sessions. So there are 200 MCQs. Out of 200, I have already covered optha, psychiatry, anesthesia and will be covering. So, we are expecting at least 80 to 100 MCQs from this session. Okay, medicine will do. Okay. <clears throat> now, lastly, we see Marfan. So, Marfan is autosomal dominant and in Marfan, remember what are the feature? So, in Marfan, there is fan is up. So, there is a which condition? So, fan is up. Where is the fan? Supero temporal. So, there is a First, mitral valve prolapse, then aortic aneurysm, A, retinal, all are separated, all are separated. Fibrillin deficiency, arcanodactyly, long tapering fingers, negative nitroprusside test, superotemporal subluxation. I told you fan, where is fan? Upper. Fan is up. So, fan is up. So, where is fan present? Up. So, it is superotemporal and skeletal changes very tall with long finger, kyphoscoliosis, dolichocephalic head and the hands are what? Showing very long finger. They have thumb sign. If they put their thumb, the thumb will come even out of the fold like this. This is called the thumb sign. Thumb sign. Okay. Thumb sign. Chal. Now, lastly, if all children are diseased, it is our maternal inheritance. What is maternal? All children are diseased. That is called as mitochondrial. Why? Because who gave mitochondria to all the kids? Answer is mother. So, that's why all children affected so, mother to all child. If all child, that is called as maternal inheritance. So, here the mother is affected. All her kids, all four have the disease. But the father will not pass on. So, that's why none of the kids will have the disease here. But here, again, the disease will pass on. So, the daughters will again pass on. And then, daughter to all kids. Daughter to all kids. This is called as the yes. Which condition? It is called as maternal inheritance. So, please remember this graph. It can be asked in the exam. Are you clear? So, this I taught already. So, I will not be doing anything else. Done? So, I ask a question and I said what children will be affected? So, answer is these are, these ones are affected. Which one? These three are affected. Okay? Chalo. Tomorrow, Ashwini sir, 9 p.m. class. Okay? Yeah, we can expect 80 plus question for sure. Now, mitochondrial inheritance, which are the disease? They are melas. Mitochondrial, what disease? Inheritance disorder. One is mela, which is mitochondrial encephalopathy and lactic acidosis syndrome, Lebar optic neuropathy, sensory neural hearing loss and MRF. MRF is myoclonic epilepsy, like same muscle of group, group of muscle keep contracting with ragged red fiber in the muscle. So, that is called as mitochondrial, okay. Last they will ask you is try nucleotide repeat, which I made a summary. So, summary is myo, CTG is myo, okay, and uh, hunter is cage, okay. I can't see this, I will copy this. So, remember mnemonic, fragile X. So, fragile X is CGG or CCG, okay. So, CC, CGG or CCG. Then, Frederick Adexia mnemonic is fried rice khao, Taxi me jao, gana ga, 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 ga. So remember, fried rice, taxi, and gana. Gana means song. So that is the case. Then Huntington is cage. So hunter lock the animal in cage. What are the mnemonic I made? Hunter lock in a cage. Hunter lock in a cage. So 
what is cage cage so hunter put animal in cage then christmas tree 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 ctg so mayo tone it this trophy tree christmas tree so what is the cataract christmas tree and tree 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 ctg christmas tree atrophy ctg so that is three mnemonic remember fried rice khao gana gao or taxi mein jao frederick ataxia hunter lock animal in cage cag and christmas tree cataract it is ctg that is myotonic dystrophy yes gabbar singh mnemonic will discuss in this now fragile x look like pk you know the movie pk so pk is having very long ear remember pk very broad forehead so it look like pk and big testes okay so that's why very big testes so these are feature of what feature of our fragile x it could be x link recessive also x link dominant so these are feature of fragile x so clear lastly they ask you chromosomal deletion syndrome two are there padder will lie and so remember padder means papa papa so padder is papa so padder is papa here chromosome 15 so remember 14 and 15 14 valentine day so people get married 15 kid is there so that's why remember pandra pandra is miss and also i told you 15 is separation anxiety if you remember 15 month what occur in psychiatry separation anxiety that is you are missing or you are afraid of missing your partner same way at 15 chromosome there is separation or missing so missing chromosome 15 cause prader will lie in prader will lie there is what there is yes feeding difficulty obesity can occur after two years their increased appetite that's why obesity occur heart problem diabetes remember diabetes obesity problem so feeding problem developmental delay and small hand and feet that is called as the what prader will lie that is called as the prader will lie okay stranger is seven very good seven month is stranger very good and if 15 is on maternal Ma angel hoti hai. Ma angel. So remember, ma is the angel. So mother is angel. So who's the angel for all of us? Our mother. So angel man is mother, and prader villa is father. Both are fifteen. If obesity, diabetes, etc. mention, go for prader villa. If IQ, sleep, CNS feature more, CNS like Caesar. So that is brain disorders. So brain disorder is angel man. Brain disorder is angel man okay fine okay so with this we'll wrap up our patho so patho is done okay so i'll be starting far man just five minutes so five minutes just take a small break then we'll do the pharma i'll try to cover as much pharma as possible if some part is left next class i'll start with pharma then we'll do the medicine we'll do whatever ent so next class we'll continue with the remaining pharma so five minute break and then I will continue. Okay, so five minute break. I'll come. Okay, five minutes. So path is over. Rest path will do systemic path. Okay.
Okay, I'm back. Let's start. Okay. See, the classes are nothing is enough. If I tell the truth, nothing is enough. More you study, more confused you become. But there's no other option. The only option is we have to study as much as possible. That is the main idea or the main priority here. Okay. <coughs> okay i don't want rank one i just want you people to get your dream branches that is my main priority area okay to do as many mcqs as possible and don't leave anything that's very very important let's start Yeah, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's start. So this time we are doing what subject? We are doing now our pharma. Okay, so let's do it again. So what are the concepts? We'll start with first is our yes pharmacokinetics. Kinetic is movement of drug in the body. It is called as the pharmacokinetics and what the drug do to body is called as pharmacodynamics. So let's start now. See for anxiety, just remember whatever you will get, it doesn't matter what rank you get, it doesn't matter what yes feel you get. What matter is, are you able to give you 100%? I'll give you an example. I took physiology, okay? I took MD physiology, not because I was no force or I had no option, okay? I took it in first day, first counseling itself, okay? And uh, in Delhi, you know, there are Delhi quota, 50% seeds go to us, 50. So we had lots of seeds coming back from all India quota. Ultimately, if I wanted, I could have taken any seat in Delhi or maybe took second counseling, but I took physiology, why? Because I wanted to do what I wanted in my life, that is research. So I thought I'll take physiology, I'll take some, do MD, then do PhD and go for research position. So I was very clear. and. I got into coaching. Once I took coaching, I needed money. I gave my 100%. So for every class, I'll go with my full preparation, with my full knowledge and I succeeded. So today I am, you know, well-established faculty in my field. Plus I'm taking other subject and I have my own other work and I am extremely successful. Okay. Why? Because I give my 100% to what I took. Okay. Rather than just crying ki why I didn't got uh, radiology, why? That is not the question. Question is how well you are able to do that thing. Look at Dr. Ashwini. He is taking anatomy and no one take anatomy. Anatomy seats are empty. But he took anatomy and he made it so, you know, good that he is now, you know, like a very rich teacher also, very famous. So that's why it's not about the subject. It is about how well you are. So it should be not the field. It is how, you know, much you are able to reach the top of that field. Like physiology, don't be any physiologist, be the top physiologist. Top three or four will be taken by any app or any coaching. There are five, six coaching only. So they will need a topmost physiologist. 
so they will choose me or our top three four people so that's why i know i am safe and they all are paid crores of money crores so that means they are all crorepatis same way top pathologists top pharmacologists so that's why be on the top rather than just be you know running after subject not subject not md not rank it should be best in whatever you get so even if you are getting anything it should be the best okay so that is why i don't care about what if i would have taken let's say patho i would have been good in patho okay like picasso someone said ki if if you were born someone else what you would be kehta i'll be maybe a great general if i was a general i might be like caesar if i was a pope a, 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 a priest i'll be like pope that means he was sure ki whatever field he enter he will be at the top if he become a priest father he'll be the pope the highest authority in catholic church or if he's a soldier he'll become a general so idea is be at the top okay whatever field you take so that's the case so <clears throat> let's start so whatever you get in the counseling na relax and say if i get a diploma na i'll be better than a diploma there's a teacher who is not md in that subject she is diploma and she is the topmost authority in that subject and her last package was 4 crore per year i will not take the name you can guess so that i'm just talking about a faculties 4 crore package she is having per year and she conduct classes for single day she is paid for single 10 lakh for single session she take 6 day 10 lakh she get for taking that class and she is not even md she is diploma so that's the case there is a faculty who's god of you know our <coughs> subject like medicine you can take and they are not even md medicine and still they are earning in crore so i'm telling you okay don't worry about that okay our prime minister is the chai wala okay t cell so how do you worry okay chal let's start okay so we'll continue so next is in pharmacokinetics it is basically adme ad is absorption drug enter the blood not the body blood distribution is cardiovascular system heart take the drug to all the body part so that's why someone asks how a headache pill no you are having a headache you eat all the drug in mouth because blood take it to all the area then metabolism is by liver and the kidney remove that is called as the clearance so this is the main funda we will see and now what is the drug if it directly enter the blood that is called as parenteral or if it's given via git it is called as enteral okay next question there are two routes of giving the drug systemic is via blood yeah into the blood local is drug not reaching the blood so it could be topical topical is outer surface or it could be deeper tissue like the joint etc but it doesn't enter the blood so the rule is local never enter blood where as systemic route is blood now there are two way i told you via intestine is enteral and without intestine is parenteral okay so that's why liver will not be able to break the drug all the drug can reach the body that is the blood okay next question if you give parenteral it could be sublingual it could be iv im iv has 100% bio availability this is a very very exam question so very 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 important exam question so i hope is clear now now comes the question <coughs> ADME i discuss so lipid soluble are absorbed mainly in the but it is absorbed in the very easily why because they are able to cross the membrane water soluble are difficult second acidic drugs ionize in alkaline medium and they become water soluble and that's why they are absorbed much better in acidic medium so remember acidic drug absorb better in acidic and mostly they are ic ic or ins so aspirin diclofenac barbiturate they are salts they are absorbed whereas oins oins are alkaloids like atropine morphine they are alkaloid they are absorbed mainly in the intestines remember acidic drug like ansets aspirin diclofenac they are absorbed in stomach whereas alkaloid like atropine morphine they are absorbed in which area they are absorbed in intestine but remember overall maximum absorption occur in the which area in the intestine so once again acidic drug can be absorbed in stomach but overall maximum absorption of even acidic drug occur in intestine why maximum area and time available remember if you want to remove acidic drug we need to make the urine alkaline if you want to remove the basic drug we need to make the urine acidic to excrete them out to excrete them out <coughs> now bioavailability is basically percentage of drug reaching the circulation that is blood 
so how much drug reaches the blood out of the total given 100 milligram i give 50 milligram reaches the blood that is 50 percent bio availability now very high first pass they will be broken by liver they doesn't reach the blood that's why no point giving orally so that's why they are not given orally they have very high example nitrates that's why they are sublingual testosterone imiv lignocaine topical spinal or hydrocortisone steroids next question distribution so distribution depends how much drug will reach into the body and it depends on lipid solubility more lipid soluble more it can diffuse to tissue and more it will reach and plasma protein binding binding will prevent the drug from diffusing and remain bound now question is acidic drug bind albumin basic bind acid globulin okay second high protein binding will cause increased t half increased t half why because the metabolism is slow protein prevent the breakdown so plasma protein break down ko prevent karenge are you clear now okay <clears throat> now comes a question i'll just leave this point i will discuss later now what is vd vd is volume of distribution concentration is amount by volume so volume is amount by concentration so the volume of distribution of drug is given by how much drug we give and how much is concentration now if vd is high it will reach more tissue that's why what is the loading dose depends on vd ld so loading dose of the drug depends on the volume of distribution mcq but how much we should keep giving depends on how much is excreted or cleared so that's why maintenance dose depends on clearance loading depends on yes the loading is basically yes vd so remember loading dose is vd into target concentration maintenance dose is clearance so maintenance dose is based on clearance mcq so maintenance clearance loading vd ldvd and md maintenance dose is clearance mc mnemonic is mc mc maintenance is clearance and loading is volume of distribution next question there's a formula barrier relief metabolism so liver basically break and kidney excrete the drug so they are both combo organs now comes the question there are two type of reaction phase one is break phase two is join so that is conjugation so what are the funda of liver liver kya bolta hai pehle kisi aur ka relationship todo aur apna jodo that is break and make so that's why break <coughs> using what oxidation reduction oxidation reduction i told you oxygen can break any bond so that is called as redox reaction then hydrolysis cyclization decyclization then come phase two what is phase two it is conjugation it is a basically making the drug water soluble by combining it with what glucuronide or glycine or glutathione 3g so what do 3g do they are like glue they attach and make the substance water soluble so phase one is break the drug phase two is make it water soluble by conjugation with ggg glutathione glycine and our <coughs> glucuronide now there are two type of enzyme they are microsomal and they are non microsomal microsomal are basically inducers or inhibitors why because they can be made more or less but non microsomal are fixed they are not inducible now i give a mnemonic for inducer they are smokers and alcoholic and all anti epileptic except rifampicin so i'll make a mnemonic for you so remember the mnemonic enzyme inducers so obviously smokers and the alcoholics what happens in alcoholic there's an enzyme induction that is why they need more alcohol so why alcoholic need more alcohol because their enzymes are so activated that they need more dose to get the hit okay so let's start now so smoker and what smoker and alcoholic so smoker and alcoholic okay and anti-epileptics except valproid valproid is inhibitor okay so valproid is inducer inhibitor valproid is a inhibitor not a inducer then reverse antibiotics erythromycin ciprofloxacin uh, ketokinazole antibiotics are inhibitor <coughs> except rifampicin which is inducer so are you clear so that is the concept so antibiotics are inhibitors 
एक्सेप्ट रिफॉर्मसिन विच इज इंड्यूसर एंड ऑल एंटी एपिलेप्टिक फिनोबाबिटॉन फेनेटॉइन कार्बमजीन आर इंड्यूसर एक्सेप्ट वेलप्रोइड विच इज आ इनहिबिटर निमोनिक इज क्लियर so that is the case so remember phenytoin fumobarbitone carbamazepine are inducer antibiotic rifampicin inhibitors are antibiotic ciprofloxacin erythromycin ketoconazole isoniazid but rifampicin is a inducer and which anti epileptic is inhibitor valproate well, but phenytoin fenobarbitone are inducer 100% now metabolism make the drug what inactive but some drug become activated these are called as which drugs pro drugs so example dopa drugs so dopa become aldopa or methyl dopa then ace inhibitor like prils all except captopril lisnopril so i made a mnemonic like in titanic what the hero or the one ask the captain captain listen there is a iceberg ahead captain listen par sunta hi nahi hai wo kyun bada pro banda hai wo so that is why remember captopril and lisnopril are already active they don't need the activation mcq so captopril lisnopril are not pro drug all others are pro drug then ppi all ppi prazol pra pra so prazol pro drug then which one steroids so they are sons so prednisone cortisone are steroid they are again pro drug and for joint we have gout allopurinol which inhibits xanthine oxidase and as a thioprene which is again used in yes it's a disease modifying agents they are decrease uh, immuno modulator okay so they are used again in yes arthritis etc so are you clear now yes yes dr man they can all show okay why because if you give a inducer it causes the drug failure because they will break the drug very fast because of liver activation and inhibitor cause toxicity so inducer <coughs> drug failure inhibitor toxicity <coughs> next question clearance before that remember what is t half t half is the time taken for drug to become 50% like after first half drug become 50% second half it become 25 third half it become 12.5 and the fourth half it become 6.25 6.25 okay so this is a question i'll not discuss time now remember what is the formula of t half it is 0.69 so 69 so remember 69 into vd by cl 69 into vd by cl 69 into vd by cl is your t half so what is t half formula it is 69 now there are two way drug is removed one is zero order in zero order constant amount is removed so that's why the amount is low clearance is high so that's why initially high clearance so initially high clearance and low t half and later opposite occur later opposite that's why t half is increase so drug take long time to be removed and clearance will decrease so that's why it is toxic so toxicity occur we are as in zero order this is the case in first order remember first category people first class people don't change their time they come on time and they always clear their dues so that's why clearance and t half is constant so what is constant clearance and t half here the clearance is high in the beginning then it decrease t half is low like example you can remove 50 mg per minute so if you are giving 50 mg all is removed but if you give 100 2 minute it will take if you give 100 2 minute if you give 400 8 minute so that's why more the amount you give more the time it will take here the time remain the same because you're removing 50% of the drug so you will always be using same time and same rate of clearance so where is clearance and t half same first order where is clearance and t half changing it is our zero here er that is excretion rate is constant so what is same the excretion rate is same t half is not there okay Yeah, don't have to remember. Okay, Karthik, you can skip that. Karthik, you can skip that part. Just focus on the name of the drug, which are inducers and inhibitors. Okay. So I hope is clear. Now I make a mnemonic for zero order. Ki there is a person who go to Goa to drink fanny. So drink fanny. After fanny, he become very risky and he fight with people. So war kia. Kya kya usne war? And he throw everything. Toda, phoda, pheka, pheka diya, pheka diya. And headache. In the next day, hangover. Take aspirin. So the mnemonic. So mnemonic is like this. <coughs> Goa gaya, fanny pine. So person went to Goa, drink fanny, and he 
picked up war. What is war? Fighting. So he picked up war or fighting. So he is picking what? War or fighting. After picking war or fighting, what is going to happen in this case? Okay. So he will pick up war or fighting. One second. So are you clear? So pick up war and that is why what is the mnemonic? Goa, Gaya, Fanny. Goa kya pine? Alcohol. So alcohol pia and then which alcohol? Fanny, Fanny toy and then do war, warfare in. Then he threw things, threw, threw, threw. Theophylin, Fanka and tall butamide, tod diya. So toda, poda or headache hua to kya liya? Aspirin. So this are the, yes, drugs which are zero order kinetics. What are the zero order? Zero order drugs are our warfarin, theophylin, okay, tolbutamide, aspirin, and alcohol. Okay, they are which drugs? Zero order kinetics. Now, you know receptors, they are the main action of any drug. Non-receptor enters it. Placebo is when you don't give a drug, still get a better result. Nocebo is negative effect, is called as a nocebo. Now, what is affinity? It shows binding. What is IA? Action of the receptor. Now remember, hero. Hero is agonist. He has love. He loves the heroine and do action also. So who do action? Hero. Villain also love the heroine, but he do opposite action. Bura karta hai, ganda karta hai. Hero ke saath hota hai side hero, nalla hero, side hero. He also love, but he doesn't do any action or rather stop the action of hero. So he prevent the hero from acting. That is what? Side hero. And what is partial? He has love, but action is in uh, clear okay action is in clear okay now there's partial there are two kind of receptors cell surface and the intracellular it could be cytoplasmic or nuclear november thyroid and sex steroid along with vitamin a and d they use nuclear whereas steroid other steroid like glucocorticoid mineralocorticoid use the cytoplasmic receptor whereas all other are using the cell surface receptor and i told you mnemonic tyrosine kinase is dirty pig p i g ty ty Tyrosine. So, what is tyrosine kinase? Dirty pig. Tyrosine is dirty pig. What the pig is? Prolactin, insulin, and growth hormone. So, prolactin, insulin, and growth. Rest all are GPCR. So, others are GPCR. So, you can write and other are GPCR. G protein coupled, which has three mechanisms cyclic AMP, cyclic GMP and IP3DAG, IP3DAG, so these are the three mechanisms, okay, now leave it, leave it, leave it, this, now drug response curve, if it is normal, it is hyperbola, if log, it is sigmoidal, now remember, up and down is efficacy, so what is efficacy, up and down, if the graph go up and down, it is efficacy, if it go left, left is potency, jitna bada L left shift hoga, utna hi powerful hoga. So, potency is left shift, height fly is efficacy. So, remember, efficacy is up, potency is left. So, efficacy is up, potency is left. So, remember, so this one A is more potent and if you go up, it is, yes, more efficacious. Like, C is top, it is most efficacious, it is left shifted, so it is most efficacious. So, remember, efficacy is left shift and top is your F, uh, potency okay top is top is potency potency is top okay now what is lethal dose is the amount of drug which can kill 50 percent of the animal or the subject effective is basically amount of drug which produce effect in 50 percent of subject now if lethal dose and effective are very close if they are same similar then you cannot use it why let's say a drug 10 milligram cause the treatment and 11 milligram cause the death. So, how will you prevent the death? So, it's very dangerous. So, that's why the graph LD and the ED. So, this is let's say LD at 50 milligram and ED is let's say 25 milligram. So, ED and LD are very close. That means if I take one pill extra from 25 to 50, I will die. But if they are far apart, like LD is 100 and ED is 10, that means 10. 10 milligram, I will be cured. If I take 20, no problem. 
but if i take 100 i will have the lethal effects so that is why more the gap safer the drug so remember if drugs are very close it is unsafe if they are far they are safe so remember next question bigger the gap so like covid time distance remember so do gaj ki duri mask hai zaruri so distance of 2 meter is important for preventing the yes infection droplet infection from the covid so that's why jitni dur ki duri utna acha so that's why big gap so the big gap it is ld by ed if ld by ed is big that is 100 by 10 it is a safe drug if 50 by 25 it is true that is therapeutic index and here it is uh, 100 by 10 10 so where is therapeutic index more it is more in safe drug so more the therapeutic index means lethal dose is very high so it's a safe drug smaller means it is dangerous so that's why high ti is safe high ti is safe narrow is unsafe we need to do a therapeutic drug monitoring so what we need to do therapeutic drug monitoring is needed in this case now remember two kind of antagonism competitive and non competitive now how do you differentiate remember in case of competition you'll see two graphs one is right shifted other is left so mcq if two line it's competition two line is competition in non competitive the drug will block the action so that is why what happened the graph become flattened so if you see two different curve just simple mnemonic if you see two curves this is concentration this is the velocity if you see two curve remember there are two people running if two people are running this is competition competitive if you make the graph fall down so if you shoot someone the person will fall down so if there is a single branch here but it's falling so that is km so k max is same and what drops v max drop so decrease v max so this is non competition so if you kill your competitor he will fall down and no competition and he fall down so that's why velocity decrease and he fall down same place so k max is same here k max is increase why because one is in front of you so they will have different concentration so increase k max so remember increase k max but what is same yes the velocity is same same v max so i hope it's clear so remember if it goes up up it is efficacy left is potency okay so now this is the story so competition is two graph and k max increase v max is same if no competition graph will drop down graph will drop down that is non competitive that is non competitive in this case okay so so i hope it's clear <clears throat> now clinical trial you already know in clinical trial we have first animal study okay then we have what a uh, human study human first we use the healthy person in phase one that is for what so what is phase one clinical trial so phase one is basically healthy people in healthy people for what for the safety then we use few number of patient forward for checking the yes the drug efficacy and the action then phase three is for yes side effects so we compare with the older drug after phase three we launch in the market and phase four is post marketing survey it is for long term complication so phase one healthy what we check safety phase two patients we check the drug efficacy effects phase three we check the comparison phase three is comparison and phase four is post marketing phase so this is the concept left is more potent okay so <clears throat> is it clear so now we are left with autonomic drugs and the cvs etc that i will be doing one hour pharma is left and i cannot take one hour otherwise i will miss my uh, appointment so i will finish here okay one hour pharma is left i agree that will be autonomic cvs cns recipe so what i'll do is tomorrow i will take not tomorrow i will take on 28 pharma first after pharma will start with the medicine because we have done all the and after medicine then we'll take ent biochem and psm on first and psm obg i'll try if possible but main is we'll do medicine after pharma then ent bio and this okay so i will wrap up thank you very much for joining in okay let's see you soon and let's study work hard and we will be doing okay
सो लेट स्टार्ट आई रैप अप ठीक है मीट सोन टेक केयर बाय बाय बी वेरी इंपोर्टेंट बी लेफ्ट शिफ्टेड ओके एंड यस दैट इज अ समरी हेयर ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच